So here we're working with Norbert, who has, um, he's with us because we have some issues on confidence, and we are working on having him interact with novel objects. Um, we're allowing him to make choices by empowering his ability to choose to do things, um, or helping him to learn how to bounce back from being nervous about things. So we have a little bridge here and a little tunnel. Um, you'll notice when we go and work the tunnel a little bit, the tunnel moves and the sound and the noise of the tunnel moving and the motion itself makes Norbert a little worried. Um, so we work on helping him to bounce back a little bit faster and so he can start to feel more confident in his choices. Empowerment's a big part with these dogs, um, is enabling them to choose to find their own space, uh, to choose to interact with things, to encourage them, and build value for checking things out, um, builds their ability to bounce back from being startled or being unsure about things in the environment. Um, this helps with resource guarding because most often dogs that guard things are not confident dogs. They're more concerned in general, um, maybe a little uh, softer in and generally more concerned. They have a level of anxiety and if we can help to teach them coping skills then their confidence improves overall and that helps with their resilience when it comes to guarding objects. So he's doing really great with this. Uh, we had started the other night and unfortunately my video um, didn't catch our first encounters which was just actually approaching the objects. But now Norbert's actually coming back in. He's engaging even though that tunnel moved. He's coming back. So we're really happy with how he's doing with this and we're going to continue to work on exposing him to novel environments, novel things, novel objects, um, new places, and help him to start to feel great about himself which will help him to actually be able to navigate the world without being quite so afraid of everything. Good boy, Norbert.